Evening everybody, welcome to another latest Meccano Maker System set review. This is the 4x4 off-road truck set, 25 models, and I have to say, um, this is not my sort of four-wheel drive. Uh, my sort of four-wheel drive is this. So I won't be making this one. That said, it is four-wheel drive and it is better than the prototype one I saw. The body works much better, more um, interesting I suppose. So 25 models, a lot of cars, different varieties of cars. Nine plus years, 443 pieces and it's available, uh, last time I looked a few days ago, really anywhere between about 30 and 40 pounds. Uh, I think 39.99 is the RRP but most places seem cheaper than that. On the back then we've got uh, the rest of the models. Uh, what have we got? A lot of cars and that sort of thing. Some do seem to be reincarnated slightly or very similar to previous uh, designs in fairly recent sets but uh, they're all pretty much car orientated um, sort of a truck here not <laughs> not unlike a sort of um, Land Rover 101 4 control ish but very ish uh, plenty of cars for a bit of a truck there uh, breakdown truck there forklift I do like the trailer I like that I know it don't do a lot but it looks very good um, and we've got a, a wheel or tyre trolley there as well. So all car based, uh, pretty much all of it are cars apart from one or two. French set, uh, this one has been around uh, not as much as, or not as early as the um, the rescue set, the 20 model aerial rescue set, but uh, certainly has been around a good month. Let's have a look inside. Again quite a full box and I do like that, it looks so much more value for money than having a massive box with just a few bags rolling around, I've said that before. Uh, incidentally folks, this is the last, uh, shall we say, metal stroke, what passes for traditional, Meccano set of the new ones I've got to review, there's none left, but there is a couple of junior ones, one's quite uh, quite juicy really, it's, uh, it's, well, it's sort of, it's a little bit different for junior Meccano, uh, another one's fairly basic, bought them because they look interesting. Uh, didn't buy that many junior sets but yes this is the last one of the uh, more usual Meccano sets we'll say. Right. Uh, blimey. Man. A lot of nuts and bolts folks. Triple bagged. Very good. Can't knock that. Um, oh blimey some long axles there. Look at that. The triaxles, but what's that? Uh, is that a seven and a half inch? Still got that tape meter from last time. That's handy. Oh, and the rest of the jump falling on the floor. Let's have a quick look. Um, we have six and a half. A bit more than that, I think. Probably six and three quarters. Anyway, there's that. There's a reasonable amount of metal in it as well. Because we know there's a lot of plastic zinc from here. Looks pretty good. Nice, decent tile. Oh my, that is a big bag. All full of stuff. Uh, tires. Uh, the motor, which is a bit different. Battery pack and all that. We'll have a look at that in a bit, but we'll have a look at the instruction book first. Quite a big one. No plastic bag on this, which is unfortunate. Because the bigger they are, they tend to get more damaged. We'll get rid of the box for now. And there we are. Uh, a little bit dull. Uh, again, it's a stitched one. They all seem to be now. Uh, not brilliantly folded and cut. Uh, that seems to be a running theme at the moment. And uh, it is a bit stingy. Just three models. Three models. Um, the rest downloads. And of course the usual tips and again including the how to use the quick snaps right then let's uh, 
see what we've got. We'll have a quick look through. Uh, uh, not too happy about this I'm afraid. Look how dark the parts are. Nice difference in the parts in set list, but look at them here. No white outlining. Everything's very similar colours. That's pretty poor to be honest. Not totally, but they are very similar. Uh, you can see no white outlining at all. Um, there's the new battery box. We'll have a look at that in more close up when we get to the parts themselves. I'm just going to have a quick look through this one, folks, because it doesn't look that the quality of the paper is nowhere near as good as some of them. It's very, very dull. Feels very cheap, actually. Um, yeah, all dark. No white outlining. It's all like there. That's a classic case where we could do with white outlining. Look at it. Awful. Just there. Just a blob. I don't know. These are all French sets, so why why they uh, varied so much? I, I don't know. Right, uh, new parts by the looks of it. These new uh, box sections to hold the, the uh, helical gears there. Sorry, bev bevel gears, not helical gears. Idiot. Uh, no diff by the looks of it. Only driving one side, it appears. So it's not a diff. I don't think so. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, really not very impressed with the instructions in regards to the dark colours. That could be a bit problematic. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, is the next model, which is like um, looks like a hot rod thing. Just there, and look at this here for black blobs. Awful. I mean, look at that. You know, where where's the hole? Which hole are you supposed to put it through, McKenna? Eh? Which hole? Gee, I don't know if they watch these videos. Who knows? But yeah, it's pretty much the same all the way through. Generally dark, plastic blobs, awful. Can't see what bolts, or rather holes the bolts go through. So yeah, there's uh, that, that. None of that intrigues me at all. None of those. Um, I have found a couple of good sets though, really good sets, and one is really good so far. Not finished the model yet, but we'll go on to that fairly soon. So we've got a new battery box and new motor there. Uh, we've got these box section pieces here. There, um, just in case you couldn't see before, I'll come a bit closer. New battery box, new motor. Uh, some of these parts we've seen before now in Ferrari sets, for example. Mechanoid parts. These new box sections there. Four of those. Um, six and a half inch axles, triaxles. Uh, handy, handy length to have. Uh, some of the uh, bevel gears, uh, not new now, but uh, handy. Uh, two hinges. Uh, looks like we've got ball and sockets as well. Oh, and these uh, couplings here to make um, ball and socket. Uh, these couplings to make prop shafts. Um, we have uh, where are we? Forty-two standard bolts and uh, nuts. One hundred. So that's like three quid worth of nuts on its own, and we've got a fair amount of uh, longer bolts, 26 9.5 mils, and the usual tools. Uh, but overall, as you can see, there's no white outlining in the parts list either. So folks, here's an array of, in the main, new parts and a variation on a very old part. We'll start with the motor. This is the motor itself, as you can see here. What do I like about it? Well, we know it's geared, uh, so that's good, but it's quite a long affair. I was hoping maybe to install it in my Land Rover 101 to give me a lower reduction, but it's too long, it's too long. Um, no, I just can't, I can't see how to do that. It's a small model, you see, a fairly small model. What don't I like about it other than that? Uh, the drive, you can tell it's quite well geared because I can't even turn it. The drive shafts are plastic. Uh, that's that's poor. Um, do like 
it's actually plug inable not like say the terror crane or the lights on the uh, Eiffel Tower the newer set where it's all hardwired so being able to plug it in great uh, you'd have to make your own wires up though I suppose to do different things and why would you want to do different things well this is the battery box and it's four double A's so uh, six volts and we've got three possible connections here uh, looking at the instructions it goes in the center one it is reversible on off switch seems pretty decent the box overall feels alright it is big uh, then again the other older type are not small uh, but this uh, downside with this unlike the mechanoids and the old battery boxes and uh, the uh, micronoids the mechasaur all their, those battery boxes use a mechano screw bolt to secure the lid so you can open it with the allen key that comes with the set not with this one you got a screw so in some ways they go forward and in other ways they go backwards and at the moment it seems like they're going more backwards than forwards to my mind and of course that's subject to your own opinion of course but we've got a 6 volt battery box that's okay it's a bit bulky okay it's reversible good it's uh, not um, hardwired so okay that's a bonus but we've got plastic axles and where we were getting uh, several sets with a Meccano bolt to secure the lid on the battery box now we've gone away from that uh, I don't know when I'm going to use this motor to be honest because uh, not, nothing really inspires me in the set to build anything really apart from the ones that don't have motors right then that's the motor and battery box uh, another one of these and there's four of these this is the part of the box section for the uh, bevel drive gears um, I dare say a, a simple diff could be manufactured into that fairly easily but yeah two of them instead of building it up yourself although you've still got to put these two arms together so yeah okay um, it's a specialised part yes but uh, okay yeah I don't see anything wrong with it but uh, um, I suppose it's less less to think about for a, a builder who's uh, probably got limited parts and uh, perhaps new to it uh, ball and socket this will form I'm guessing the end of a universal joint uh, there's the ball and it's a slippy as hell so holds it like that there's the ball and it's got a mould in it to accept a triaxle I like that that's very usable uh, it's plastic so I don't know how much power it will handle but uh, okay, there are some good plastics around today but uh, it's not steel is it but um, yeah so if you're doing your own things you've got uh, a little uh, would it be it would be an RD spider joint uh, in the real thing uh, but uh, yeah able to make your own length UJ's and uh, this is the socket for that UJ there and it should just go in like this let's try it oh yes yes it does and it's uh, side to side it's not a full on universal joint because you can only go partly it's not it it can move more one way than the other so it's not it's not too bad not too bad at all i don't know how much uh, uh, power it will take but uh, if you like this is two ends of the spectrum if you like this part or rather the ball itself is very useful as it has the ability to accept different length axles so fine very good very good indeed it's not limited to one thing it's got uh, several uses uh, in regards to the axles and the lengths you want to use so you can do your own thing where as I've said with the battery box they've uh, restricted you a little the last part then I'm going to show you for this set uh, much of the rest is what you've already seen before but different colours here we have what they call the dinky it was a dinky toys, diecast toys hook if I recall correctly 
and it's been black. Uh, the um, crane lorry uh, evolution set from about two or three years ago. That's that's black, but it's metal. Uh, there's um, silver. Um, don't think there was red in this one, but here we've got an orange one, and it's plastic, and that's pretty enough to be honest. Because generally, when you're you're doing a crane, and in this case it's a winch, you need a bit of weight on that hook to help you out. Um, so, yeah, that's. I suppose again, if they make loads of them in plastic, they'll probably save thousands from making the metal ones. So there we are. I really like this uh, universal joint. Uh, that's a good idea to make it versatile. That's the word I was looking for. Versatile. Uh, the motor and battery box. Well, let's hope it's a really good performer. I hear that it's quite noisy, uh, which when you got gears and it's in a plastic box, I dare say it will be. Uh, but uh, if it's a good performer, then okay. I'll put up with a couple of the things I don't like. But if it's just an average performer, then uh, to be honest, the little three stroke six volt motor is really good for what it is it's a really good motor uh, if they could bring that on a little bit with a bit more gearing well uh, anyway so that's it for the new parts as far as I can tell from the parts list uh, overall I don't know um, 40 quid well if you can get it cheaper than that of course get it cheaper than that it's a better buy then do you seem to have a decent amount of fixings in all varieties Double bagging's great, and the big bag, uh, I took a lot of these bags out of, yep, great, great bagging, no problems there, very nice and secure. Um, the model itself, the models themselves, uh, yeah, uh, they're just not very inspiring, they look very similar to ones that have gone on in the past, um, but some of those, we didn't have the four wheel drive, so... You know, and it's been done with four-wheel drive, but it looks a bit with shafts, not pulleys, and a drive belt. So, yep, that's good as well. So there you go, folks. The uh, Meccano Maker System 4x4 off-road truck set, 25 models, motorised. Of course, that does add quite a bit to the cost of the sets, I suppose. Available anywhere between about 30 and 40 pounds at the moment. Um, Instructions-wise, on the face of it, so far, pretty poor. In regards the definition, the resolution, the detail, which is lacking, so they're just black blobs. Um, far on the face of it, just looking at them without building a model, by far the worst uh, instructions from the newer sets um, than just about all the new ones I can think of that I've reviewed recently. So, to be honest, this is a bit of a disappointment so far. There may be niggles. And there may be more, more like issues and uh, mistakes in some of the other sets, but normally we find those things as we build. With this one, there's a lot of well, not a lot, but there's there's a multiple of stuff going on that's not really right to my mind, instruction-wise, and that's put me off the set. And add that to the fact that the set, to me personally, is not very inspiring. And I suppose, to be honest, I did buy it for the motor. I think I might have said that earlier. I did buy it for the motor. So, um, there, there ain't that many sets we motors in at the moment. There's this one. The older 25 model uh, mountain rally set. That's got the older motor in. But that's only 3 volt battery box. I've built the main model from that. That is not a brilliant model at all. It's been built for several months and I still haven't felt like reviewing it. It's not totally awful, but it's not an easy build. Um, hopefully, uh, these will be, but the instructions are going to slow you down. Anyway, that's it at the moment, anyway, for the more normal Meccano sets, you might say. We've still got a couple of uh, junior ones to go, and then, of course, there's several models to be built from these sets, some of which you've already seen. So, that's it for now, folks. See you again.